Welcome to another NAS Master video. This is a video about the Pentium 3 computer. I'm going to feature it in this whole video. So, I just had a small upgrade here. I just put in the new processor I've got for it. Just about 10, oh, crap. Just about 10 minutes ago, I got a new... Hold on. Uh, this ain't... This ain't good. So, so this was the old one, Pentium 3. This was the 600 megahertz, and about five to ten minutes ago, I received this 733 megahertz Pentium 3, which should be quite a bit faster. So another fact about this about the Pentium 3 computer is that I installed Windows 98 Second Edition on it because it's going to function as a machine for light tasks, um, as a backup computer, and as a DOS gaming machine, to be honest. So, the next thing you will see is this machine actually booted up, well, actually booting up, and up and running. So, now we're actually ready to power it on. Monitor's turned on. There we go. Let's see what it does. So there it says CPU Intel Pentium 3 733EB megahertz, 640K system RAM, and the other 255 megabytes. There we go, booting into Microsoft Windows 98. Ooh, that's not good. Oh well. Just have to do it with the flickering, I'm sorry, it's a CRT monitor. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Don't know if I can actually... Sorry, can't adjust that. Takes a while to boot up. And there we are. My awesome wallpaper. And the startup sound. So this is now my uh, basically my old game computer <laughs> to play the old games I used to grow up with, especially MS DOS games, and of course some older games that just require Windows. Actually, I have wireless networking running on this. Um, good antivirus, Clamwin, which is uh, an open source uh, antivirus software. It's quite good. Also works on server operating systems. Um, of course, the latest drivers for the FX5200, well, at least the latest drivers for Windows 98. So yeah, it's booted up now, U-Torrent, everything. Let's get on the internet, shall we? Let's start Firefox 2.0. It's still a bit sluggish, it still has to uh, get used to the new processor, I think. Go to YouTube. Well, I don't have Flash Player installed. This is a very old version of Firefox. It's 2.0.11. I don't have Flash installed, but as you can see, scrolling through the website goes relatively easily. Not too much lag at all. That was quite laggy. So I was talking about DOS games earlier on. 
Let's see if we can get one of those working. I should have... I'll install one first. And uh, this one is still, uh, I think. It's going to be the game that's displayed on my wallpaper. Duke Nukem 3D. Forgot to install it. That's my bad. And it's unzipped successfully. Great. Let's see if we can get it running. Well, let's do this the right way. Let's restart in MS DOS mode. Yeah. Now that's hardcore. Hold on here when I type my commands. We're gonna run setup to uh, set up the sound. Let's see. Should be a sound blaster. Not responding. Hmm. Maybe it's a different interrupt. Hold on. Hmm. Apparently the port is wrong. I don't think this is going to work. Damn it. Oh well, better launch it with that sound then. Uh, well, there is no sound card. Well, let me just try to fix this, alright? Right, as it turned out, I can't fix that. But I can show you some old, other old games. This is a special version of Death Rally. Let me turn the sound up. The epic intro of Death Rally. This game runs extremely well. Right. That's all going great. As you can hear, this, <laughs> the music actually conflicts. Ah, apparently I opened uh, two of them. But oh well, we can start racing now. This is far, by far, my favorite DOS racing game. It runs exceptionally well on this computer. I mean, you can just race and you can shoot. It's a golden combination. I do suck at it with one hand because I'm used to play DOS games with two hands. I need one to steer and to shoot and one to use turbo and that kind of stuff. Because for turbo I have to use the other shift key, the left one. That's not very handy. Oops, wrong key. It always takes like two years to complete. Another roll pissed. Exit to yes. I've also got other games installed. It's Grand Theft Auto 2, Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, I can basically max that game out. You can't see that this is actually a Pentium 3. Because it's it's quite quick, but it's not 
like blazing fast. It's it's good. It's it's steady. It's so let's wait for this thing to load. Actually, the micro code of Pentium 3 is actually way better than, for instance, the micro code of the Pentium 4, which exists with the Netburst architecture, which is actually worse. So as an idea, um, on a 600, this game lagged just a little bit on high settings and low resolution. Just a little bit of lag. Not too much, just a little. So, yeah, it is butter smooth. Just there's one problem with this version. This is the original release version. She got launched a bit there. I don't know why the hell my mouse partner was actually here. Whoops. That's not going too well here. I just pressed escape and suddenly the game minimizes. This only happens when someone is recording. shut it down. And there we are back at the pro back at our desktop. Awesome. I've also installed Windows Media Player 9. I still have to update uh, to Internet Explorer 6. I've also installed the unofficial service pack 1. Go to properties. It doesn't state my processor anymore, it just says 256 megabytes of RAM. Microsoft Windows 98, second edition. We've also got Microsoft Plus installed. Let's open that up. Let's go to Programs. Microsoft Plus 98. Also got some games with it. Golf 1998. Solitaire. There we go. Desktop themes. I've currently got it set to this because I, I like this color scheme. As you can see it's, go it's going from blue all the way to red or pinkish. I like the transition a lot, so that's why I kept it this way. So let's go to run and just type in WinVer. As you can see, Windows 98. Well, you can't see that, but I don't really give it down. It's kind of my part here. So. Yeah, that was basically a tour on the all-new Pentium 3 computer. Well, at least in the state it's in now. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you all for watching.